as you can see I've got the Mongo root ripper put back on and let's go knock down some more trees guys we're gonna have some fun Well, this tree that I just knocked down is what we call Widowmakers. Reason being, tree's been dead now for two or three years, and you can see all the broken branches that was already in it, and they're just constantly falling. And when a limb this size or something like this was to fall, if it was to hit you in the head, uh, if you were working near it, that's why they call them Widowmakers, because it'll flat kill you. Anyway, I didn't think I was gonna get this dude to go. I finally got the root ball, to, but I, I was working on getting these outside roots cut up. And so anyway, I finally got it to go over. So uh, anyway, glad to get this one down. I'll have to come back now with the chainsaw, cut it up in manageable pieces, get the tractor, and um, uh, get it carried off and get it to the burn pile. So anyway, that is one tree that I'm glad to have down. As you can see, the Mongo Root Ripper just does a fantastic job working this stuff up. And I've got, let me get around here. I'll show you, I've got a couple of more dead trees that I want to go ahead and get taken care of while I'm here. And so I'm going to work on getting this out of the way. And I want to get to this one here and go ahead and get all this down. Uh, don't know how successful I'll be, but I'm going to get up in here and try and see if I can get some of this stuff worked out. Anyway, let's get back to work.
Well guys, another great productive afternoon. Uh, very excited to have got the old Widowmaker down. That tree's been dead now for a good while. So glad to get that down. And then during a storm when Hurricane Michael come through, we lost that big uh, pine tree. It was, it had fallen and it was, we spent days cutting the top of that up, but I could not get this base done and my tractor couldn't touch it. So having the uh, Mungo root ripper and working with the excavator the way I did, it was so nice to finally get this up. And this actually was two trees and I got both pieces up and you saw there at the very end, I was able to even get the root base up. So I am so thankful now to have that up and all of that is loose now to where I can work with it. I can get it out of there with the grapple with the tractor. We can get all this cut into manageable pieces and get all of this out of here. So if you guys can see the master plan coming together, I've been bringing in loads of dirt. I've, uh, once I get all the uh, trees cut up and out of here, we'll come in here once this dries and get where it gets workable. And my whole plan, this is low area, and I'm working to raise this up and fix it to where the water will run out of here. This stays wet in the wintertime so bad. I don't know if you can see over there. That's a very small example of what this normally is. I've been working on this for a couple years now, trying to work on getting the grade right. Anyway, guys, big shout out to the guys at Mungo. Guys, you saw this bad boy right here gets it done. Uh, it's unbelievable how I'm able to rip those trees and stuff out of the ground. Very thankful to have this piece of equipment added to my, old, my excavator. So for now, guys, I'm going to call it a day. Thanks so much for watching. Remember here, Project Next One, there is always one more. And as you guys can see, I got a lot more work to go. <laughs> and this is in my house. As you guys know, my kids call all the time too, and I'm just playing. I love going to help them, but we've got projects there as well. So guys, keep watching. Lots of stuff coming soon. You guys take care. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.